the Suzhou International Expo Center. Beautiful city, Suzhou has a reputation of being heaven on earth with their beautiful gardens and of course a amount of water and lakes in the vicinity. But in the venue here at the Chorus 2015 World Table Tennis Championships, here we have men's singles, third round and in screen from Singapore, Gao Ning up against Austria's Chen Wei Xing. I'm Johnny Cowan, glad to be with you here, and I'm joined by Gavin Rumge. Gavin, this one will be interesting. It certainly will. Two relatively evenly matched players. Always been a fan of Gao Ning. And also, Chen Wei Zing in screen at the moment in the red shirt. Also a fan of him with his extremely good defensive work playing away from the table. And obviously at the moment playing for Austria. Neither of these two guys youngsters, Gavin, by any stretch of the imagination. Gao Ning coming in at 32 years of age, and Chen, well, he's 43. Gives us hope, doesn't it? It does. Umpire there. Mr. Crunch. Hopefully he'll have a straightforward afternoon and not have to issue any cards and such like. But Gao Ning, Singapore, world rank number 15 now. He's made the last 16 in Paris in 2013. First round was successful against Jean-Michel Save, who unbelievably was playing his 24th Worlds. The first for him back in 1983 when he was just 13 years of age. And in round two, defeated Gustavo Chuboy of Brazil, 4-1, a match that I commentated on. He was just too powerful for the Brazilian. And Chen Wei Cheng, well, he's world ranked 69 at the moment. And he's been to the last 64 of the World Championships three times, including Paris 2013. And he also made the last 32 in Zagreb back in 2007. He's had two 4-0 victories so far to get to this stage, beating a Japanese and Polish player en route. So round three, last 32 for a place in the last 16, and it's Gao Ning with the serve. It's a big test this for Gao Ning's fitness as well. If this was to go the full seven game distance. And we certainly saw him last summer. Glasgow Commonwealth Games. He was playing in most of the final stages of most of the competitions. Obviously the Singaporean team very strong in Commonwealth terms. But at stages he was pretty tired playing all those matches, Gavin, in your home country. And it's not just the matches, it's it's all the preparation, it's all the, the practice as well, going into Hall B, putting in three or four hours a day on top of all the matches. It is, it's a long shift at a Commonwealth Games. Wonderful games that in Glasgow. City came to life, Scotland did a great job. I'll be interested just to see how Gao Ning deals with the defensive Chen here. Gao very strong in the bottom half of his body, good solid base. Technique wise though, quite short strokes. So just interested to see how he extends those strokes or how he accelerates through the different spins generated by Chen Wei Ching. Of course you played against Gao Ning, Gavin. I did, that was four years ago now. And again, that was at the World Championships in Rotterdam, where unfortunately I went down four sets to two. But that was in the main draw. Chen just going for the counter topspin, trying to change it up. Something he does very effectively, going from defense into attack. Important for defenders to do that, just to keep your opponent guessing in terms of what you're gonna do. few grey hairs there, the 43 year old's head, a bit like my own. Nevertheless, all square for all in this opening game, best of seven. Always feel as well for Gao Ning, extremely good tactically, takes his time. First two top spins, nice and slow, and a third. Then accelerates on the fourth one there, Gavin. And as Chen Wei Zing puts his racket on that one, the ball does kick back, as you saw there. Fire! 
Oh, which one was the defender? I only saw it in the last shot there. Chen Wei Xing, equally as impressive on the counter topspin on the forehand side there. I don't know what it was like for you, Johnny, before when you were playing and playing against defensive players, but I always felt that I needed to keep mixing the serves up as well, trying to get a few free points so that it wasn't always into these 15, 20 short rallies. Absolutely, variation the key. Once the defender gets into the rhythm, and if it's similar shots coming to them each time, it can be really brutal. Not that I had a huge variation in my service armory, but there you go. Great atmosphere in the venue here as we make our way towards the latter stages of the competitions. Four gold medals up for grabs. Men's singles, women's singles. Sorry, five men's doubles, women's doubles, and of course mixed doubles, the fifth. We could never forget the mixed double. Big event. Great topspin there from Chen. He's mixing it up. There he goes again. Oh, beautiful forehand down the line. He's got to mix it up as well because Gao's very comfortable on the blocks as well over the table. Keeps the racket really high. I've had a few practices against Chen when he was up in Sheffield before in England and very, very tough when he was attacking me. If I had him back from the table, it felt comfortable. As soon as he was coming in from the serve and hitting the rocket third ball, it could go to either corner with exactly the same technique. And a difficult style to play as well in aged 43. Very, very impressive and testament to his desire and hunger for the game as well as his physical fitness and mental well-being to be a defender to ca to cover the amount of ground that he does every match it's a testament to him but Gao Neng now in ascendancy game one 10 6 four game points ah it's comfortable Very comfortable indeed. Top spinning round the table, we'll see it again. And when Chen Wenxing was attacking, just containing him there, the Singaporean. Very controlled indeed in the replay, you can see it. He's on top of it, and so secures game one. 11 points to six. Game two then, Chen Wei Xing with the serve. I think he probably has to mix it up a little bit or do something different here, Gavin. It was very samey, samey in that first game. Very comfortable for Gao Ning. Here he goes again, the Singaporean. Huge forehand there. When the ball starts to come in the certain directions that Gao Ning wants, he's extremely solid. He's a little bit of a machine that way. Once he knows he can feel the game, his confidence starts to go up. If you can bring variation into the game, some flat flicks, some high spins, mix him up. You can also be a little bit what you know, a little bit slow out to his wide forehand as well. Not as explosive as some of the other players in the top 20 in the world. Oh, it's a great counter topspin from the Austrian. Really stepped into it.
slight misread there from Gowning. Ah, it's simple but effective. He's just hoiked the receive a little bit there, Gowning. He's taken Shen Weixing out on his wide side and then has followed it in with a powerful forehand. Very simple, very effective. I think it's something as well that a lot of the players now in the practice hall pay more attention to it's that relooping. <clears throat> There's a lot of chopping the ball, someone spins up and someone tries to make a reloop. Something that's really important now in the modern game. As we see again, Chen Weizeng going for one. Little reloop round the side of the ball, taking the pace out of it. Again, it's the counter topspin from Chen that's the problem for Gao Neng. Not able to contain it. Very, very spinny, but he's played it cross court now twice in a row. I wonder if he'll change it. Oh, beautiful. Nice little flick into the backhand. Chen did well to get round the corner. See it again here. But he's played it straight into the bat. Good reaction, steady technique. Not any need to get wild with that ball, just enough to get his bat on it. Play it back onto the court, onto the table. Another attempted reloop from Chen Weizeng. His feet just weren't quite in position to make that one. He didn't caress around the side of the ball to take the speed out of it. Honours even at six all in the second set. Nice little finish there. The ball was slightly shorter in the court. So Gao Ning was able to step round the court, launch into that onto his left foot. Still looks very comfortable for Gao Ning. He doesn't look stretched here at all, Gavin. What's so common with the top players as well is that they do practice a lot with each other. Training camps in China, training camps in Austria, wherever it is, they are all familiar with each other's games. And I think a lot of the time with Gao Ning being relatively robotic, th this suits him. He knows where the ball's going to go, which directions it's going to come back. And that's when he feels comfortable. the forehand Gao Neng into Chen Weixing's forehand and Chen Weixing looking as if he's coming cross court all of the time. Gao Neng is as solid as a rock there. Austrian really struggling. Oh, he's going for the backhand down the line. It's a cracker. He's got to do more of that, take more risk, Gavin, right? He's got to change it up a bit. Well, that was variation again. Gunning didn't know that was going to come. Normally, he'd stepped round the corner to play his forehand, and then that's when it becomes predictable. Penny. 
as Gull marches to the towel box. Still has another two chances to close out this second set. That's another one, timeout. and a timeout called. Team Singapore, no doubt. Get confirmation on screen. 10-6 to 10-9, important moment. Maybe loss of concentration. The Singapore coach will realize as well that it'd be much better for his player if he's to come out of this four sets to nil or four sets to one don't want to be going this going the distance in this one and then for the next round Gaoning needing to conserve energy crucial times he'll want to see this game out and make his push towards the last 16 interestingly there Gavin we've just seen Jun Matsutani come through his last 32 match there the number five seed surviving a bit of a potential scare against Jung Min Jung Sik from Republic of Korea Jung actually ranked at 24 in the world versus Jun Mitsutani five he's come through there 13 11 in the seven a 4-3 thriller so he's already through and he'll be awaiting the winner of this match Oh, he did well there to counter topspin. He changed it. He went into Gao Ning's backhand, but Gao Ning was equal to it. The chance was still there for Shen Weixing to make something of it. Here he comes. Just couldn't do it. Technique was a little bit flat. It's gone straight into the net. And it's 11-9 Gao Ning and 2-0. So it's Gal that gets off to a decent start again. Taking the first point, third set. Don't forget if you're watching this somewhere around the world, you can get in touch with Gavin and I here. Hashtag ITTF Worlds 2015 on Twitter. Hashtag ask the commentator if you want to ask us a question and we'll endeavor to answer it. So a decent start here by Chen Wei Ching. I can't really say a way back from him what I've seen in the first two games. That variation at the end in terms of his forehand topspins placed in different areas of the table might be an answer but Gao Ning for me just looks too comfortable here against defense Gavin and even when Chen attacks it it's not venomous enough it's too it's too clean and I think that's very easy for Gao to block But a mistake from Gao Ning, perhaps 
just not as concentrated here. Temperature's quite hot here in Suzhou. It's been up to 28, 29 degrees. And the hall feels warm, Gavin. What was it like to play out there? It, w it was warm, it definitely was. And again, the afternoon matches with the, with the place being packed, it got even warmer. But good conditions? Very good conditions. And again, with this red floor, purple table, purple barriers, it became quite easy then to see the ball, so the visibility is fantastic for these guys. Lift, four, five. Ah, that's a good exchange. A good example of how to play chop though. Look, slowing it down, spinning it heavy. A lot of players when they play against the, the defense don't have the patience. They try and hit through them. It's not always the best tactic. Oh, he's going for the fast one at five all. He uses the legs, gets into the legs to lift that heavy chop. Oh, ho, ho. great variation from Chen Weixing. A little wry smile from the coach there. He enjoyed that from the 43-year-old. Look how Gao Ning's into the legs. Look how he zips that ball up. That's a wonderful parallel counter topspin. Difficult to execute that. See how he came right through with his body weight to get through the ball. You almost have to jump your hand out of the right. Out as well, it's really important to do that, otherwise the ball will travel too quick, too far. Oh, he had a chance. It was good, it was the right ball to go for. It was definitely there, a little bit tentative now from the Singaporean. Perhaps a little bit of tiredness setting in. trying to emphasize to you guys and girls at home how tough it is to stay in the legs to play these penetrating shots. Because if you're gonna stand up at all, you will not be able to get any purchase on the ball. That's solid now from Gao Neng, and he is indeed in the legs, and he is indeed getting something out of the ball. He's imposing spin, he's imposing power. There, the weight transference onto his left leg, clear to be seen there on the backhand corner of the table. Ah, oh, it's nice, inside out forehand, zips it away from Gao Ning's outstretched arm on the backhand side. Nice little reverse with the pimple down the line as well. The ball then changes to topspin. He runs round and plays that beautiful fade as we see on screen. Okay. The ball just not quite arriving at Gaoning like it did in the first two sets. Not necessary, really, to make mistakes at that stage. He's going for it, Chen Weixing. Maybe he feels he has to go flat out on those top spins. I'm not so sure. I think Gao Ning's looking a little bit shaky here. Shin just shouldn't be giving him any freebies. Nine all. A must-win game, I think, for Austrian Chen Weixing. 
Oh, great forehand this time. Cross court, zips it across. Gives himself a game point here. Oh, nice flick from Gao Ning. Perhaps just clipped the edge of the table. I see an expression of apology there from him. Now with the serve at 10 all. Two clear points. It's very solid from Gao Ning. He's not having to do much in some of these points, Gavin. I feel sometimes as well though, Chen Weizing is just looping into the corners. So Gao Ning just has to choose one of two areas. If he could loop a third one down the middle as well, that would add to the repertoire. Nice ball there. Again, he's going for these four hands. That one parallel. Back to Juice, 11 all. Let ball. Could see it from here on the screen. That's a great ball for anybody watching who wants to learn how to play defense. That was a great ball from Gao Ning. The first forehand was a spinny one down the middle. Chen wasn't able to impart huge amounts on it because it was well placed. And Gao Ning was able to follow up with an accelerated forehand and it was a winner. Gives him a game point here to go 3-0. And he zips it into the body of Chen Weixing. Apologies maybe clip net there, but it's all plain sailing here, Gavin. It's 3-0, Gao Ning. So chances there, Gavin, for Chen Weixing. Just forced the forehands, top spins perhaps a little bit too much. What else can he do here? I just believe that it was the scoreboard pressure of Gao Ning winning the first two sets. You then relax it juice when you're in the third if you're two sets to love up. I can't see how Chen Weixing can penetrate Gao Ning here. He looks comfortable against the chop. He can... He can block, so I think Chen just has to try and be very varied in his play. There we go, we see Chen playing backhand topspin, forehand topspin, chop, Gao's equal to it. And to be fair to the Singaporean as well, he's, he's read the service very well. He's just caressing the ball back just with a, a flat flick, taking the spin out of the serve. Change of service there, shot to the forehand. Ah, oh, it's a nice rally. Covering a vast amount of the court there.
And now he's starting to relax. He's starting to make some of these re-loops. We see on screen. Lifting it up. And finally, he's starting to play some re-loops into the middle. That's exactly what we were speaking about in the third set. there from the Austrian so 5-2 advantage he's been around for so many years Chen Wei Shin Gavin aged 43 played in lots of world championships as you would expect <laughs> made last 32 in 2007 made last 16 in Shanghai 2005 Rotterdam 2011 and Paris as we were saying earlier on There are records for him here going back to 2001 in Osaka, my last World Championships. Another wonderful rally there. You just feel that Gao Ning is blocking though and soaking up the pressure when Chen Huizing does try and attack back. It's not easy to do that either when you have to lift up against the chop and then go into a relaxed mode with the hand to then block back. Suppose it's skills at the top 20 make, or um, appear to make look easy. I don't know if it's Chen Wei Shing so much doing something different in this fourth game, Gavin, as opposed to Gao Ning making some mistakes. Maybe tiredness, maybe mental fatigue. Certainly interesting situation here. Serving at 3-7, the Singaporean. Oh, well back, Chen Wei Shing. That ball came right into his crossover point, right into his elbow, the middle. Able to throw an arm at it, though. We'll see it again right down the middle there from Gao Neng. Wonderful pickup, Chen Wei Shing. Soon as the ball goes on to one of the wings, then Gao Neng looks like he'll never miss. So as we approach the business end of this fourth set, it's imperative that Chen Weizing looks to attack, reloops, changing it into middle and not just onto the wings. It's just these small subtle changes that can make a huge difference with two world-class players again coming up against each other. That's a great battling rally there. Chen's done well. Nice receive. See how he just brushed across the ball there with the pimples. 5 10, 5 game points. He's staying in this match here. Can he get it to 3 1? He does. Gowning blows the backhand off the end of the table. Shake of the head as he goes for the towel. He loses game four. Chen gets one back. It's 3 1.
I've had to eat my words a little bit after that last one. A good battling performance from Chen Wei Ching. I didn't really see an air way for him to come back into this match. He mixed up the top spins a little bit. Gao Ning looked tired, made some errors. Let's see how it unfolds here in game five. Can Chen keep the momentum or can Gao find some extra energy? I think energy is the word because he needs to penetrate just slightly more on those forehands. Okay, the ball just slightly clipping the net there and we're straight to a timeout, a very early timeout in this fifth set. Interesting. We've only just come back from the break between games. Got a 3-0 off the block start by Gao Ning in this one. Forces an Austrian timeout. Just even Gavin to stop the role of Gao Ning. Not necessarily to share extra tactics, extra expertise, but just a way of breaking up the momentum of the Singaporean. And he's literally on his knees. 4-0. Is he cruising into the last 16? Gao Ning, world ranked number 15, 32 years old. Little serve off. Gives Chen a little bit of hope with his two serves to come now. A little float chop as well. Trying to mix it. Chopping from deep. Chopping from mid distance. And then looking to try and penetrate with that forehand as we were speaking to, to one of three places. That's exactly what he needs to do. Great footwork by the Austrian. Great mix of the top spins. One going cross court into the forehand of Gao Ning. The next going into the backhand. He's not given up here. He's won three on the trot now. 5 3. Nice little serve. Directed into the body. Normally, when he goes to the wide forehand, Gao Ning, he spins across there. So a little subtle change of direction. Again, peppering the body to open up a comfortable four-point lead. Didn't feel like he was really in position for that one. Chen Wuzing wandering around, having a little word with the ref. Possibly a few little mind games. Like to see that. Mess with Gao's head a little bit. Try and close this gap. It's looking like one way traffic now though, Gavin. A berth in the last 16 here at the Coros 2015 World Table Tennis Championships awaits. He's given it a good effort, that man in red from Austria. Chen wishing, but I feel it's not to be. It's 9-4. Ah, it's a spinny ball to the middle, short. It's caught him out this time. And that gives the Singaporean Gao Ning six match points here.
And with that bullet right down the middle of the table, Gavin, it's party over for Chen Wishing. A great effort by the 43-year-old, but it is the much younger 32-year-old. Not that young, but still going strong. Gaoning, Singapore. Here we see it again. Ball down the middle. Seals the deal. To make his way through to the last 16 confirmation there. 11-4 in that fifth game. And it was 4-1.